क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स दिस क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन ग्रेविटेशन एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट हैज बीन गिवन दैट ए सेटेलाइट इज ऑर्बिटिंग वेरी क्लोज टू द सर्फेस ऑफ अर्थ एंड वी हैव बीन आस्ट टू कैलकुलेट द चेंज ऑफ स्पीड सो दैट सेटेलाइट मे स्केप फ्रॉम द ग्रेविटेशनल पुल ऑफ द अर्थ now we know that if the satellite is orbiting very close to the surface of earth its speed is given to be under root g m by r which is equal to under root g r and if we want the satellite to escape the gravitational pull of earth then the escape speed is going to be under root 2 g r so the change in speed or minimum change in speed we, which we must provide to the satellite so that it escapes from the gravitational pull of earth is given by delta v is equal to under root g r root 2 minus 1 so the correct answer is 1 question number 47 in this question it is given that a galvanometer having a coil resistance of 100 ohm gives a full scale deflection when a current of 1 milli ampere is passed through it now we need to calculate the value of shunt which converts this galvanometer into an ammeter giving a full scale deflection for a current of 10 ampere now this is our ammeter and this should be able to you know carry a current of 10 ampere now out of out of that 10 ampere current this 1 milli ampere current must pass through galvanometer because that is a full scale deflection current of galvanometer and the remaining current pass through the shunt which we have added in parallel with the galvanometer if we just equate the potential difference across galvanometer and the shunt we'll be able to get the result 10 to the power minus 3 into 100 is equal to this much if we calculate the value of shunt comes out to be 0.01 ohm so the correct option is 2 question number 48 this question is based on photoelectric effect in this question it has been given that radiation of wavelength lambda is incident on a metal surface and the kinetic energy of fastest moving electron uh, is half mv square that is the v is the speed of fastest moving electrons so from energy conservation we'll have this equation sc by lambda is equal to half mv square plus w where w is the work function of the given metal if we multiply this equation with 4 by 3 will be getting 4 by 3 sc by lambda is equal to 4 by 3 half mv square plus 4 by 3 w now the radiation is replaced by another radiation that is having wavelength 3 lambda by 4 so now if we apply the same equation we will be getting 4 sc by 3 lambda is equal to half mv dash square plus w where v dash is the kinetic uh, and v dash is the speed of fastest moving electrons now if we equate equation 1 and 2 will be getting half mv dash square is equal to 4 by 3 half mv square plus w by 3 and from here we can easily conclude that v dash is greater than 4 by 3 square root v so the correct option is 2 question number 49 this question is based on logic gates where we have a gate which has more than two inputs however the basic principle regarding the gate is same that for an or gate if either of the input is equal to 1 then the output is going to be 1 and if all the inputs are going to be 0 then the output is going to be 0 so from the question you can easily make out when all the inputs are going to be 0 then the output is going to be 0 and when one of the input is going to be equal to 1 then the output is going to be 1 so the correct option is 4 question number 50 and in this the question is given that uh, the region between two concentric spheres of radii a and b has a volume charge density that is given rho is equal to a over r where a is a constant at the center of this uh, space is placed a point charge q and we need to calculate the value of capital a such that the electric field in the region between the spheres will be the constant that is it will not depend on r now we'll simply apply gauss law and we'll try to calculate the electric field at this location which is at a distance r from the center when apply we will get e into 4 pi r square is equal to charge enclosed over epsilon not and we know that charge enclosed up to this point is going to be equal to capital q plus density into 4 pi r square dr 
if we calculate this value, we will get E is equal to capital Q plus 2 pi A R square minus 2 pi A into small a square over 4 pi r square epsilon naught. Now, if you want E to be independent of r, we know that capital Q has to be equal to 2 pi a into small a square and capital A turns out to be Q over 2 pi a square. So, the correct option is 